Hi everyone, my name is Leslie and welcome to my first YouTube video. I wanted my first video to be a product review with a quick demo at the end on a product that I love and I've been using every day, the Vichy Corrective Foundation Stick. I had never heard of the brand before and if you pop along to your local boots it's usually alongside the La Roche-Posay products. Now Vichy describe it as a corrector that adapts to all skin flaws and for all skin types. It can be used as an all over foundation or as a more localised corrector. It comes in seven shades and I have it in the shade Sand Sable and this is what it looks like. Now you can find it online and as I said I found mine in Boots and it cost me £19. Now if you didn't fancy shelling out £19 on it straight away they actually do a starter kit where you get six samples of the product in six out of the seven shades and this usually costs around £4. And then you can then sample the products in the comfort of your own home, see if your skin reacts to it or anything. And I also take comfort in knowing that it has been made by a company that specialises in skincare. So it's like, it, I feel like it's looking after my skin at the same time. So just to give you a quick background on my skin type, unfortunately I wasn't blessed with perfect skin and I am constantly battling out adult acne. I tend to get this on on my jawline and on both cheeks. So basically my everyday makeup challenge is to try and bring my face back to looking like what it should be had I not spent years of abusing it with lack of sleep and all that bad stuff. So I need full coverage on the areas where I need it the most using minimal layers as possible with products that my skin doesn't react badly to while still trying to look as natural as possible. Okay, so I filmed a quick demo on how I use it. I hope it's helpful, so enjoy. Okay, so this is a little demo just to show you how I use it. Now, all I've done on my face is I've prepped it with my moisturiser and a tinted moisturiser. At the moment, I'm testing out a NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturiser in the shade San Moritz. Okay, so after I put my tinted moisturiser on, this is the stage where I use the Vichy stick. Now, all I do is um, I get the stick and simply put it on my ring finger and my middle finger and then warm up the product a little bit in between your fingers and then simply put it on. I like to uh, pat it two or three times and then blend out the edges because I find if I pat it too much the product starts to come off. So I just continue to do this all over my face. Um, once I'm satisfied that I've more or less covered all of my blemishes, I then set it with a setting powder and the one I'm using at the moment is Cover FX setting powder in the shade Light. And literally all I do is I get a big fluffy brush and get the setting powder and then roll it on top of the areas that I've just concealed. Just gently going over it so you don't so you don't take off all the concealing that you've just done. And then sometimes if I feel like my face is feeling a little bit greasy that day, I then use a pressed powder again by Cover FX. Yeah, you can tell I'm a fan. And again, I just get the powder puff that it comes comes with and then gently pat it on the areas on the same areas again. And that pretty much sets it for me for the rest of the day. OK, 
okay I hope that was useful literally after I put the setting powder all I've done is just finish my face did a bit of contouring put blush some eyeshadow eyeliner mascara all that good stuff and lips and literally that is all I use and as you can see um, my scars have been pretty much camouflaged On. I didn't put any more concealer on, that was all I used. Because I don't put it all over my face, makeup still feels really light. And as you can see, actually adapted to my skin tone, which is nice. So I hope this video was useful if any of you who may have been wanting to try the Vichy foundations or were actually looking for something to conceal, should I say conceal, correct um, any blemishes that you may have on your face and if any of you suffer from acne scars or any extreme blemishes I'd love to hear what products you use and any that you recommend and maybe I could give that a try anyway I hope this video has been somewhat useful thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon thank you bye